Hey guys, welcome back. So first of all, I've already primed her eyelids using Painfully Paint Light by MAC. And next, I've also set that with Nude by Anastasia. So the next shadow I'm using in her crease is Birkin. And I'm just messily buffing that through the crease. And then going in with a warmer shade called Fawn. And doing the same motions. So next I'm going in with Red Earth and taking that a little bit lower than before but focusing it mostly on the outer corners of her eyes. And then I'm also going to deepen that with Fudge which is a beautiful shade also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really love to work on the crease and I love to just buff and blend and just keep going until I'm really happy with the result. Now using a flat brush from Sigma and the shade Metal. I am using a press and slide motion and also a slight tapping motion to get that silver shade beautifully onto the lid and I'm repeating the same steps on the other eye. So next I'm using a gorgeous pigment by MAC called Silver Fog. Um, and I used MAC Fix Plus with the pigment to give it that really, really metallic finish. I decided I want the eye to look even warmer, so I've grabbed a beautiful new shade by Anastasia called, called Blazing, and it's like kind of red and pink mixed together. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I've just messily buffed that into the crease, kind of where I was placed in the previous colours. And now to deepen that outer crease further, I'm using Noir by Anastasia. And I'm keeping this pretty low and focusing it only on the outer corners of the eyes. Next I'm going to apply um, liquid liner and eyelashes off camera. So if you want a separate video on that, please let me know down below in the comments. So now I'm priming my sister's face using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Uh, she has pretty normal skin. I wouldn't recommend this for a dry skin, but normal to oily, it's amazing on. So next we're going in with Max Tudor Fix Fluid and I mixed the shades NC45 and NC25 um, to get kind of an NC35 and it worked beautifully. So using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30, I'm using this to highlight as well as conceal under her eyes and I'm also going to be taking this above her cupid's bow, her chin, um, a little bit on her forehead and down the bridge of her nose. As you can see here, I'm taking the concealer very close onto the sides. Um, where the bridge of her nose has already kind of started. What this does is it actually alludes to a smaller nose once I've actually popped that concealer down the middle in a very narrow straight line, which you'll see now. The trick is to make that line down the nose very, very thin and light will draw to that spot and it will kind of look like your nose is much thinner. As you can see already, you can tell the difference. Yes, we're having a little bit of a laughing fit because this is my sister and this is what really does go on behind the scenes. Um, it's very important to laugh with your client and have fun. So next, um, in between our little laughs, we are blending out the concealer using a beauty blender. And I'm really, really working on seamlessly blending that into the skin. So to blend out the nose highlight and the inner corners of the eye concealer, I'm using the Sedona Lace EB13 brush. So once all that concealer is blended out, I am baking with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder and I'm putting this everywhere that I put the Pro Longwear Concealer basically. 
Um, this will also brighten, but mostly it will set that, that concealer. I'm then going to lightly dust this powder all over her face to set the rest of the foundation. Now I'm warming up the skin using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep and then giving her a very light contour with the NARS Eater Brush. So next I'm moving on to brows and I'm using the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. So Steph wanted her brows to be filled in very nicely but she didn't want them to look too dark. So we could have gone with Soft Brown or Medium Brown. Uh, the difference being Soft Brown is a warmer undertone and Medium Brown is a lot ashier. Both she could pull off, but the ashier one, being medium brown, could actually throw off a darker look, if that makes sense. So I'm just filling in all the sparse areas and giving her a little bit more of an arch. And yeah, as you can already see, it does look a little bit lighter even than her natural brow on the left. Always remember as well to use the spoolie on the back of the brush to just soften the brow as you go because nobody wants those really sort of sharpie looking brows. We really want that seamless, natural but full brow. So while we're still baking, it's good to do the under eye shadow and I'm using those same colors I used at the top. So I'm going in with Blazing Fudge, Noir and a little bit of fawn to blend out at the end um, and I'm really smoking this out quite low underneath the lash line just to give that real sultry look. So now I'm dusting off that powder using a MAC 159 brush and then I'm going in with Soft Focus and Emphasize both by MAC just under the eyes um, and pretty much everywhere that we highlighted before. So next I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner in the waterline and then popping some mascara on the bottom and top lashes just to combine the falsies a little bit better as well. So literally the best part of all is the highlight. We're using the Gleam Glow Kit by Anastasia and mixing Mimosa and Crushed Pearl. This is just beautiful and it complements that silvery eye because these highlighters are slightly more pink rather than the usual gold. So next I'm adding a pink blush by MAC, I forgot the name but I will list it down below and then we're going into line the lips using Strip Down by MAC and then filling them in using Honey Love Lipstick also by MAC. So now using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, I'm just setting that beautiful, beautiful beat. Okay, in the camera, by the way, at the moment, I look like a little bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you 